Phoenix here from 180 Cadence Run Training. Today we're heading up to the upper Blue Mountains uh, in Blackheath and we're heading out to the Bolts of Lookout and to Hanging Rock. This short video will cover how to best get there, a summary of the terrain uh, in both directions and some visuals out on the dirt and of course the view. So once you get to Blackheath, what's the best way to get out to the trailhead? If you get in the train, uh, Blackheath Station is only a 15 minute walk to the start, but make sure you're careful crossing the Great Western Highway because the traffic can be a little bit busy. If driving, you've got a couple of options. Ridgewell Road is dirt and it's not sealed. So if you are concerned about your car on that terrain, it might be easy to park in one of the suburban streets in Blackheath, such as Sturt Street, Wentworth Street or Hat Hill Road. If you are okay with driving your car on the dirt road, which isn't sealed, turn right onto Ridgewell Road and follow it for around 800 metres until you arrive at a locked gate and you can leave your car there. Alright, now that we're here at the trailhead, what sort of terrain can we expect? The whole trail out to Bolter Lookout is 5.3 kilometres and is wide fire trail. Once you get to the lookout, there is then a technical single trail that goes approximately 200 metres down a hanging rock. Let's get started, because the view is that way. As you can see from the elevation profile, the 5.3 kilometres out to Bolter Lookout only has about 75 metres of elevation gain. Apart from the latter parts of the fourth kilometre, the best way to describe the terrain is pretty flat, if not undulating downhill. So apart from packing some hydration and maybe some nutrition or snacks, also a good idea to factor in some sunscreen, especially because it gets a little bit exposed out here without too much tree cover. Might also want to wear a hat, bring your sunnies, and also snake and compression bandages, as it's likely that, especially during the warmer months, you'll come across some of these friendly locals. There are no taps along the way on the main trail, so whatever you're carrying from the start, that's all you have to consume. All right, we've got to what looks like the end of the trail, so we're a bit over 5Ks in. Uh, this is where the good bit starts, so yes, there is a little bit of a view to the left, but make sure you take the single trail just ahead because that's where the magic starts. Welcome to the Bolzer Lookout. In my own personal opinion, on a clear day, yeah, Mount Solitary on the 
western side of the Blue Mountains is pretty cool, but I think the view over here on the eastern side in the Gross Valley just goes next level. The only way to describe it is spectacular. Alright, let's go down to Hanging Rock. The trail down to Hanging Rock is a little bit rough, um, but it looks like national parks have actually improved improved it a fair bit. There are now um, some stairs on the way down, but you still will need to watch your footing. And the views down here are also not so shabby. Notice that there are also no guardrails up at the top of the Bolsa Lookout or down here at Hanging Rock. So if you are going for the obligatory feet photo, please be careful and exercise caution. As you can see from the elevation profile, the 5.3 k's back to the car park has about 170 meters of elevation gain as this is simply the reverse of the trail on the way back the best way to describe it is gentle uphill with a couple of little kickers <laughs> Well, now we're back. I um, hope that's giving you a good short overview of the trail out to Bolter Lookout and Hanging Rock. Our best to get there, a summary of the terrain in both directions and some visuals out on the dirt. And of course the view. If you enjoyed this short video and overview of the Bolter Lookout, please click like, subscribe, and then you'll be notified when new adventures are uploaded to the channel. I'm Skip Phoenix, stay safe, and wherever you're running, make sure you enjoy yourself.